Yes, good morning, students. So, continuing with the tenses, it's last part. Okay, only tail is left. Let's finish it off also. So, we had already done uh, present, indef we had done indefinites, continuous, and perfect. Now, we are to do the combination of perfect and continuous, that is present, perfect, continuous. It's uh, okay. Before I tell you the rule, let us uh, talk about some sentences. She is reading a book. Or if I say she is reading a book for an hour. Okay, I've got two sentences with me. You also speak like this many a times. Ma'am, uh, I'm doing my work. Ma'am, I'm doing my work for, for an hour. Is there any difference in these two sentences? Yes, ma'am. What's the difference? Yes. yes. In the first sentence, it's only told that somebody is doing some work. That some work is in progress. But here we also get time element. Okay, we've been given uh, the time period, like something has been going on for such a long time or the exact time is sometimes given or it's also said like since nine o'clock, right? Or since uh, 20th uh, April or since 2019. Anything since Monday. So either we are given the duration or we are given exact time, point of time. Exact that is point of time. Got it? So that we will talk about like for or since rules we will discuss later on. So when we are given time period along with the do, uh, like progress time, you know, we use present perfect continuous and it is not present perfect continuous. It is okay to say like, I'm doing my work. Don't disturb me. I'm doing my work. Or if I say, don't disturb me, I've been doing my work for the last one a year and now I want to complete it. So when you have time element with it, then you have to use present perfect continuous. And the rule is, Whenever you get perfect word, what to bring? Has have. So has or have, because has or have are both present verbs. So has or have. For continuous, what do you use? Yeah, present participle, V1 plus ING. So with has or have, we always use what? Third form of verb. And third form of mm -hmm. verb will come in the form of been. Been. Be was been, third form. So that's why you people get confused whether being or been. So when you would know that with the perfect verbs, always third form of verb comes. There will not be ever any mistake. All the rules have basically simple rules. The perfect verbs are has, have, or have. When it is present perfect, then of course present verbs. When it is past perfect, of course, past verb of has or have, that is at. Okay. Whenever there is a word continuous, then uh, present participle, V1 ing. And whenever we have uh, perfect verbs, third form of verb is always there. So has or have plus been plus V1 ing. So I, she has been reading a book. It should be, she has been reading a book. She has been reading a book for an hour. Got it? So we can have more examples. If, I, if you want to say that you listen music uh, nine o'clock, what would you say? Make sentence using you listen music nine o'clock morning. Make sentence. Make, make sentence, write down. 
make sentence of the three words i listen music 9 o'clock i listen music 9 o'clock i've given you three words make them into use them in a sentence all of you first write written what's the name of that boy last mention harshdeep 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 try to bring a mask you look very mysterious i i don't even know how do you look like you are totally hidden okay so otherwise uh, your face becomes a little visible the way these students okay okay harshdeep give the answer make sentence hmm? okay this girl harshita ritika yes ritika give the answer i hmm hmm yes i have been listening to the music since 9 o'clock right i have been listening to the music since 9 o'clock if i say dash 9 hours lavanya okay if i say dash uh, monday lavanya yes if i say dash 5 uh, days dash 5 days dash 5 days for 5 days so whenever there is a duration that we use for when there is exact time we use since that's the rule here for since and for okay right don't tell me whether it is right or wrong right she has been living in this house full stop she has been living in this house is it okay it is not complete or you can say it is wrong so make it correct she has been living in this house for last 5 years yes beta you tell she uh, is living in this house for 5 years make it correct she has been uh, to uh, yeah she has been living in this house for the last 5 years okay so that is if we talk about past perfect past perfect continuous so past perfect what does it mean had yes otherwise this usage is same there it is about the present time that is about the past time she had been reading a book for for an hour when when i went there i went there and i saw that she had been reading a book for an hour okay otherwise you don't have to you cannot say like this uh, in present context okay you cannot tell me ma'am he had been reading the book for an hour that is wrong Ma'am, I saw him yesterday. Also, even then, he had been reading the books for an hour. That could be like this. Right now, you will just tell me, ma'am, he has been reading a book for an for a year. You may say for ten years, but right now, what you say accordingly. But if he, but if he was reading the book yesterday, then you will say, ma'am, he was reading a book yesterday. That is okay. but when you say ma'am he was reading a book for an hour that would be wrong he had been reading a book for an hour okay but when i saw him when i went there when i called him something like this yes the point is like the usage is like this rule wise it's okay that he had been reading a book for an hour rule wise okay but when do we say like this that you are to bother now you people have learned the rules enough 
Now come to the accurate part of the tenses. Like where to say what? When do you actually say like this, ma'am? He had been uh, uh, he had been studying for an hour. When do you say like this? When you talk about past, and at that time you also did something. When past, when something happened in the past of past, we are going to do something related to it. Uh, so next one more tenses left. Future mm -hmm. perfect. Not visible. So here is future perfect. So when we say future, what comes to your mind? Will or shall? Okay. When it is perfect, have. And uh, hmm? B E E N. Why? Gia will tell us. Yes, because with have, we are to use third form of verb. Now, what about continuous? Yes, such a long rule. But it is uh, easy. Pick up the word, write the rule. Future will shall. Perfect have. Continuous V1 ing. Have, third form because have is there. So will have been doing. So she will have been watching movie for three hours. But when will you say this? After two days. You will say this after two days. You will talk about something. You will talk about this when something will happen in the future. Huh? Uh, yes, when you will be sure about something, then only you'll be using will. Otherwise, you can use can or may. And she may have been. Uh, and she may have been watching a movie after after two days for two hours. Okay, she will have been. She will have been playing chess for hours. In the years to come. Getting? So important is when to use it. And most of the times these tenses remain lie dormant. You use them when you talk about some event which will take place in the future. Okay. And how many times you talk like this? Can you give examples? Yes. Raghav? Hmm. My point is, like, how many times you talk like this? How many times you bring this tense in use in your conversation? Hmm. Yeah, that is okay. Otherwise, the sentences are okay. So think about these situations when you talk about the things like this. Think. We are planning, we are even dreaming, we are even thinking, we are even imagining. Imagine also. Ma'am, we will have been uh, working in an office for hours after 25 years. Something like this. Okay, something which will be happening in the future. And whatever will be happening in the future, that can be your imagination, that can be your um, dream also, that can be your planning also, that can be your determination also, right? Okay, so tenses are over. Now write some sentences which uh, which are part of tenses, but they are clubbed. Write on one sentence. The doctor came. The doctor came when the patient had died. It's a very traditional sentence to teach the usage of this kind of sentence.
the right down the doctor came when the patient had or we can uh, talk about uh, the things in positive terms recovered why to kill the patient always so the doctor came when the patient had recovered so basically when should the doctor come before the recovery so that he could do the, do the treatment but here the things are happening uh, topsy turvy right the doctor came okay we are going to learn the tenses one verb is here came and second is had recovered so there are two actions out of these one action happened first and one action happened later on so tell me what happened first first the patient recovered first the patient recovered ye action number 1 then doctor came is action number 2 so what happened first is this what happened second is this so now in layman term one action took place in past and one action took place in past of past i always talk like this in my language one sent one action took place in past and one action took place past to past usse bhi piche getting so the action which took place in the past the the action which took place in number 1 the action which took place in number 1 what do we use there we use their past perfect tense okay according to this the action which took place in the past of past there we use past perfect so here what happened in past of past this or this number 2 number 2 so here you'll be using past perfect okay something which happened later on there you'll be using simple past is that clear so numbering we can change something which happened first their past perfect and something which happened later on their simple past this is the rule you may wrote down and this happens very often in our life the bell dash write on the bell dash when i dash school the bell dash when i dash school but you tell like what happened with you in your case did the bell go first or did you reach first the bell go first you always come late then why we are not going for a traditional sentence like the bell that is for the uh, people those who are not punctual for the people who are not punctual they will say the bell the bell had gone when i reached school write on this first the bell had gone when i reached school write on in bracket for the people who are not punctual the bell had gone when i reached school now for the other people those who are very punctual like us what will we say the bell had gone first soch ke bolenge the bell had rang yes the bell rang when i had reached the school the bell went when i had reached the school uh, what does it mean over here like first i reached then the bell went remember got it now another very traditional kind of sentence like this yes what would you say the cake dash the cake finished the cake finished when i reached the party 
the cake dash when i dash the party you went into a tent to your friend's birthday and uh, by the time you reached there the cake was not there your friend told you that it's over so what will you say about it yes very good jia so the cake had already finished when i reached the venue party so the party okay don't say party the cake had already finished before i or when i reached the the cake had finished if the cake had finished before your arrival or before you reaching then you will say the cake had finished the cake had already finished but if you want to say no when i went there when i reached there though i was very late even then cake was there the cake had not finished so you have to finish the cake first yeah. hai na but i am saying you the cake has not finished oh my god you are such a foodie ha huh? so he reached the party and finished the cake very nice so tell him to come late okay okay so another kind of sentence where the okay the bus dash when we reach the station when we reach the stand bus stand the bus dash when we reached the bus stand the bus had departed the bus had departed when we reached the bus stand okay now next kind one more so there are some sentences like this hardly hardly make a sentence using hardly can you hardly take the same situation about uh, reaching bus stand and the train and the bus went off i'm giving you a situation take the situation that you reach to the bus stand and the bus had left okay let me give you one example hardly had i reached the station dash the train left or departed so with hardly we use when number 1 this is a correlative you must use them hardly had the train sorry hardly had i reached the station when the train left so point over here is like both of the things almost happened together okay both of the things almost happened together okay you can dramatize a scene okay supposing uh, so there is a bus the bus is going and you are reaching okay the bus left but you re you reached there there and then the moment bus left you reached so there and then you say hardly had i left sorry hardly had i reached the station when the train left or the sometimes what happens the moment you reach the school the bell goes then what will you say hardly so yes very good hardly had i reached the school when the bell went the mom meaning is both of the things happened together it's not like always like something goes first then second thing goes later on sometimes the two things happen together <clears throat> hardly had i finished my lunch when the break was over okay the moment you finished your tiffin 
the bell went and you say wow see my timing you praise yourself then manavit is very happy she does it okay so do you bring your lunch manavit or you keep on giving duty hmm hmm okay so okay so rd had i so there is one more way so see the rule hardly had third form had plus third form that is past perfect and then then simple oh, past I mean. simple past see the two rules together one is usage of hardly with when hardly when with hardly past perfect and with when simple past okay there is one more expression like this it is with no sooner no sooner dash can you change this expression into no sooner expression not correct not very correct with no sooner with hardly we use when right but with no sooner it's a comparative degree what shall we use huh? yes spelling yes t h a n with the comparative degrees we use t h a n than she is taller than what you are taller than t h a n so similarly it's a comparative degree no sooner then in the second part we would be using than okay so remember the pairs hardly when no sooner than so now see the usage no sooner did i reach the station than the train left same meaning okay no sooner did i reach the station than the train left yes same or the same thing the there the train left and here you reached okay it is no sooner did i reach the school than the bell went the moment you entered the gate the bell went okay so the same expressions got it okay uh, so we have done the uh, rule where we had two actions one action happened first another action happened later on there in one we have to use past perfect and in the other simple past then we did these two rules one hardly and when the other no sooner than you might be asked many in the editing exercises any of the rules can be asked okay yeah let us do some more try down one example we work hard we work hard we work hard so that complete the sentence we work hard so that dash yes manavi why why are you saying like so that we can succeed raise hand why stand up what is correct i'm giving you two options from you people we work hard so that we succeed manavit said and uh, he is saying so that we can succeed what is correct hmm okay we can succeed okay whatever point is we can so that we succeed or so that we can succeed what is correct out of these two this is correct 
Is this sentence correct or this? Yes, madam. What happened? Stand up. Hmm. Wait, wait. Yes. Speak a better clearly. Come on. That is. Not like this. She says, don't know. Say. Don't say like this. Okay. Now the answer is this is correct and that is wrong. The rule is whenever there is so that then we use a model here. Can or may. We work hard so that we may succeed. We work hard so that we may, we may succeed. We walk fast so that we may reach the station well in time. If I do the change, if I say we worked hard, we worked hard, what will be the answer now? We worked hard. Yes. If it is fast, it will also become could. So that we could succeed. We worked hard so that we might succeed. Got it? So with the so that, on the other side, we use a model. Okay, tomorrow we'll be continuing with some more of these kinds. Then we will be starting maybe with the other topic. Thank you.